chicken and bacon fried rice. Next on Around the Armstrong Table. Let's get this chicken and bacon fried rice started. First thing I want to do is start off with our marinade. I'm going to use my immersion blender to blend up. It's going to be a third of a cup of soy sauce, a fourth of a cup of tamari, a tablespoon of sesame oil, and two tablespoons of poison. Also there's some garlic paste in there. The reason I'm using the immersion blender is so the garlic paste doesn't clump up. Um, sometimes with that garlic paste, if you just mix it up in a marinade, it really doesn't infuse the right way. So now that I got the marinade over top of the chicken thighs, which is two pounds of chicken thighs, I'll get that going and get that all mixed up. I'm going to add in some cornstarch, about a third of a cup. So I'm going to mix that in two batches. And the only reason I'm splitting it up, I just want to make sure that the corn starch gets incorporated real well and it also doesn't clump up on the marinade because corn starch easily clumps up. That's why it's a binder and it actually makes everything a little more starchy. <laughs> so I'm going to add the rest of the corn starch and we're going to mix this up real good. Now this marinade is going to give the chicken some flavor. It's also going to help to tenderize the meat and it, it's, it's also going to give the chicken a little bit of a crust on the outside when we cook it later. So now that we have all of that done, we'll take the marinade, we're going to put it aside, I'm going to cover this with a little bit of plastic wrap and I'll go ahead and get this in my refrigerator and let it marinate for a little bit. Preferably, you wanna let it marinate for about one to four hours. Four hours for the best results. So next we're gonna turn on our stove. We wanna get this on a high heat. Uh, so we're breaking out our wok and doing some avocado oil because that oil allows for high heat cooking and it doesn't burn the food or it doesn't burn itself. Uh, before it cooks what you have there. So you just want to swirl that around just a little bit before pouring the chicken in. And we'll get that nice sizzle. I got the oil pretty hot. Um, you can't really see it there, but you'll, you'll see in a second how that starts to cook up real good. So this chicken is gonna go through a couple stages. It's gonna start. All of a sudden you'll get that, start seeing that crust start to develop on the chicken. And pretty much when you see all the pieces round like this, this is what you want. This is the perfect cook for the chicken. We're gonna take the chicken and we're gonna put that aside so we can start bringing in some of our other ingredients. Now I said this was chicken and bacon fried rice, so I can't have chicken without putting the bacon. So I got some applewood smoked bacon, um, one pound of thick cut bacon, it's going to be roughly seven to eight slices depending on how thick the bacon pieces are. What I did was I diced these up and I normally just do a, a large slice on them. And with the bacon, you want to watch your heat. You don't want to burn the bacon. So uh, you'll see me turning the, the heat up just a little bit, and I might turn it down um, once the bacon starts to really cook. But the bacon will go through a couple different sessions here where we start to develop that crisp. And I mean, that's what we want. Look at that. That is just some beautifully cooked bacon. We're going to take the bacon, we're going to put it aside, and we're also going to put the bacon fat aside. I'm not going to get rid of it, but I just left a little bit in the pan. So now I'm going to bring in two scrambled eggs. And obviously this is going to go extremely quickly. Uh, the eggs are going to cook up within a matter of seconds. 
uh, they, they won't take long at all. We just want to get the eggs cooked up with that bacon. And notice I didn't add any salt or anything like that. And the reason why is because the bacon already has some salt in it. And later when I cook the rice and bring everything else into it, I'm going to add in soy sauce. So that'll be more than enough salt for us. So next ingredient, I'm going to add in some butter. And we want to swirl the butter around. I'm using unsalted butter. Like I said, later we're going to add that soy sauce. So there's no point in getting salted butter because that's just, you know, that's going to make things a little too salty. So I got the butter in there. I'm going to bring in my mirepoix. And that's onion, celery, and carrots. For all you people that are familiar with French cooking, this is pretty much the base of most French cooking with almost all of their dishes you'll see the mirepoix in there so we want to get this cooked down just to the onions and the carrots start to get tender or the onions start to get translucent really gives them a lot of flavor and you guys know that I can't cook anything without adding in my favorite ingredient which is garlic um, we put garlic in almost everything that we cook so we'll add that garlic in about four cloves of garlic the garlic just adds another layer of flavor to this and really keeps everything going we're going to add the chicken back in and now that we got the chicken previously cooked it was pretty much almost done so see so y'all could do a little bit of a flip so we get the chicken cooked in please disregard my dog <laughs> I got some two pounds of rice or two cups of rice and basically it's rice that I cooked yesterday so the rice is um, nice and hard which is what you want for any type of fried rice um, you don't want rice that that has any type of moisture because the moisture what it does it takes away from the rice separating and having the individual pieces of rice so we're gonna get the rice all mixed in with this and, and get that incorporated really quickly um, before we bring in the other ingredients this dish is really really quick so I'm gonna put the eggs back in and get those going and it'll be nice because as they start to cook and I got this on really hot heat so that the eggs start to get a little brownness on the outside of them as well and as you can see everything's starting to get incorporated real well so I got a fourth of a cup of soy sauce and I just eyeballed it um, and just put that in there but you can if it's not enough of the soy sauce obviously you can add more later but I don't want to add in too much now so I'm throwing in some chopped green onions and I'm gonna follow that up with the, the bacon that we cooked earlier oh man look at that and we'll mix that all in and this dish is pretty much done this is like I said a very very quick dish and it's just absolutely delicious so i'm gonna get this plated up here in just a minute and you guys will see the finished product in just a couple seconds but this is a, a very very quick delicious dish that i'm glad i'm able to prepare for you guys and put in front of you um again i love doing these videos it's from my table to your table Please like and subscribe to the channel. I thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a good one.